So, Elizabeth, where are we right now? What's the village? What's the name of the village? Uh, estamos em Vargem da Laje, em Baipendi, Minas Gerais. E a gente está numa casinha super simples aqui. Yeah, it's a very simple village. Yeah, yeah very simple village. And uh, also a simple house we're living in. So I thought I'd show you around uh, the house we're staying in while we're visiting the permacultural school. So this is the entrance way. And then this is the kitchen, yes. So here's the kitchen table. Uh, you can see someone's growing kombucha. And uh, this is a selection of our food. Oh, there we go. There's the kombucha and uh, some of our food. This is the, the stove, and we can't use the oven right now. Um, plus, it, the oven doesn't work. Uh, the refrigerator, and then obviously no washer dryer. Um, this is where uh, people wash their clothes. Um, and food storage, another oven. Don't know if that works. Um, for drying, drying clothes. Yep, drying clothes. And then Elizabeth, uh, oh, this is the kitchen, this is the sink. You see the sink? And so again, no hot water here. Um, we have to heat water here in order to get rid of the fat. And this is the location for air drying. And that's the trash. Can you see the trash? Yeah, there it is. Okay, and Elizabeth now, now Elizabeth is going to show us how the bathroom works. So this is the bathroom. Yeah, uh, not good. The sink, this okay. is the toilet, and then this does not work, right? So this is how you flush the toilet, right? Oh. The pressure of the water going down um, flushes the toilet for you. So this is the toilet, and the toilet paper, as you can see there, uh, cannot go in the toilet. So the toilet paper goes in there, or you, or you take a shower, right? <laughs> or you yeah. take a shower after you know using the loo. Yeah. Um, this is where our uh, shower and um, other things are, and then now the bedroom. Oh, what? This is outside. So here they burn. They burn trash, right? Sim, yeah. eles têm o costume de queimar o lixo aqui porque o lixeiro vem duas vezes por mês recolher o lixo, então eles mesmo dão destino no lixo queimando e isso não é nada bom para a saúde, né? Yeah, it's not great here. They pick up trash twice a month. And so because they only pick up trash twice a month, a lot of people here burn their trash. Last evening, the entire village smelled like uh, burning plastic. It was even penetrating the, the home itself when we close the windows. So yeah, they burn their trash. They also have farm animals walking around, but it's beautiful here. And they have farm animals over uh, over there in the pasture over there. So um, this is the outside. Of course, we barbecue. And so that's our barbecue. And uh, there's uh, some of the local farm animals. Okay, and what type of tree is that? It's a mm, uh, lemon. Lemon? Limon. Limon? Yeah. Limon tree? Yeah, limon. Yeah. They have a we have wonderful fruit here in Brazil. So, and then this is the bedroom. Um, and, uh, oh, that's the that's what the roof looks like. You can see. And then the bedroom roof is uh, is closed, closed in. And so, this is the bedroom we've been sleeping in while we've been here. Great! Hope you enjoyed that. That's how uh, a lot of people live, right? You know, a lot of people live like this. A lot of people don't have the amenities that we sometimes uh, think are ubiquitous to everyone living on the planet. A lot of people um, don't have the same opportunities and same amenities that we have. So, thank you. I wonder if I turned that camera around. Oh no. So there are some uh, not great things about living here, and yet there are also some fantastic things about living here. And some of the fantastic things about living here, Elizabeth, are that we have fresh, raw milk, right, straight from the cow. Yeah. Which is just Late. amazing. I mean, it's still a bit warm, and it came straight from the cow. And we have raw honey. Oh, huge glass jar of raw honey um, it's very tasty raw honey and uh, propolis 
We got some propolis here, and then also some fresh cheese. What type of cheese is this? Ah, uh, esse é o queijo branco. Ele é famoso aqui em Minas Gerais. A gente chama ele de queijo Minas. É um queijo bem natural. Uh, não tem muito sal e nem outros ingredientes. É muito bom. Muito yeah. bom levar queijo fresco para casa. It's an amazing tasting cheese. Yeah, yeah. é muito gostoso. Yeah. So, although uh, the living conditions um, might not have been the best, it's good for people to see that there are many people around the world who live in these sorts of conditions on a daily basis. Um, and even though there are some negative things about living under these sorts of conditions, um, you know, you're out more in nature, and so there are a lot more farm animals around here. And so while they don't necessarily have access to the amount of meat that someone might have in the city, they do have access to gardens and have access to some uh, fresh animal products like these. Bye. Yeah, we're now heading away from the house and I thought I'd just add this as an addendum to the, uh, the house video, uh, which this video is part of. But there was no cell phone reception in the village, so no cell phone reception in the house, but we did have Wi-Fi. Uh, so, you know, we at least had the internet but there was no cell phone reception throughout the village or at the permacultural school, obviously, because it's a ways away from any municipality.